Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it's the first of the month which means it is sheet load of cards day. I hope you'll stick around, see this month's sketch, see the first set I made and find out how you can download the free printable. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The first of the month is always a big deal here on my channel. It is the day where I debut the newest sheet load of cards. Now, if you are new to my channel and you're not familiar with sheet load, what this is is a free printable that I come out with each month. It's a two page PDF and I give you a new sketch, a supply list and cutting guides to make the most out of your supplies and create a sheet load of cards. That is usually anywhere between six and 12 cards each month. And like I mentioned before, as long as you're a subscriber, you can download it for free. Now toward the end of the video, I will tell you where to find that link. But before then, I want to share a look with you at the new sketch, tell you some things about it, and then show you what supplies I used and share that first set of cards. Are you ready to take a look? Before we look at that sketch, I did want to stop by with a special channel member shout out. I would like to say thank you for your continued support and for upgrading to Paper Trimmer level membership to Claire Smith. Here is a look at this month's printable. Over here on the left is the new sketch. And this one is another special edition, although I know it's not becoming that special anymore since I've been using it a lot, but you will be using your six by six pattern papers for this. And there are barely any scraps left and I bet you could actually decorate the inside of your cards with what is left over. This month, May 2022, you are going to yield six cards with just three pieces of six by six pattern paper, three pieces of solid cardstock for your matting and your sentiment, and then three more pieces of cardstock for your card base. Now, if you don't necessarily want six cards, but you like the layout, I do always give the single dimensions right here so you can just create a card. And if you want to know how to switch it up a little bit, I do have some alternative ideas here on the bottom. Now tomorrow, I forgot to mention, I will be back to show you the process of how I create my first set. And my team of collaborators will also be joining me here on YouTube and over on Instagram with their takes on the latest month. If you're inspired to create with the sheet load of cards, each month at the top are two hashtags that I would love for you to use, whether it's a video here, um, a post over on Instagram, or heck, now I'm even on TikTok if you post there. I do like to search those from time to time to see what you're creating with the sheet load. Page two has the cutting guides, so you'll see how to cut each of your six by six pattern papers. And you see here at the bottom, there's just a tiny strip left that I bet you can make use of that and be done with your six by six papers that you've chosen. Now, one thing I do want to point out, this month we do have kind of a more unique measurement, and that is three 0.375. Now, because I always have like whole numbers, I don't use decimals here. I do the same when I type this one out. But as I've noted here at the bottom, 3.375 is the same as 3 and 3 eighths. So you'll need that measurement on your pattern paper and up here on your card stocks. Speaking of card stocks, you'll have two sheets that you cut the three and three eighths by five and a half pieces from, 
And because we're only yielding six cards, this would actually yield eight total pieces. So you just cut until you have six and you can stop. And you can use that extra card stock for another project. Over on the right, I show using a full piece of cardstock for your sentiment pieces, but like the past few months, this is a great one to use up some of those white scraps or whatever color you choose for your sentiment. I did mention before that I'm on TikTok. I have that linked at the bottom of the description box below, but I'm also on Instagram if you want to follow me there, and I have my handle right here in the middle. Another thing I would like to point out on the printable is this down here in the right corner. I would like to say a great big thank you to all of my channel members. Your support keeps me creating here on YouTube and sheet load of cards free for all. Now, if you're ever interested in finding out more about channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. Let's go ahead and take a look at the supplies that I use for my first set of cards. In front of me here is the set of papers and card stocks that I use for this month's cards, and it's a pretty exciting day. This pattern paper pad and the stamp set you'll see here in just a minute is brand new from Not Too Shabby. These are items from the May box of the month, which debuts today, and there's going to be a hop starting in just a couple hours where you're going to get so much inspiration. But I was so in love with this that I reached out to see if I could just share a little bit early so I will have the not too shabby channel linked below as well as the hashtag they're gonna use for the hop so you can check that out later today now I know this box is going to sell out like that so if you do like these papers and stamps you might want to go there and get on this again it will be linked in that description box below the paper pad I'm using today is called It's a Fresh Summer, and this whole box is all about watermelons and sweet things. I did go ahead and I pre-chose three papers here. I have the watermelons, a dark green glitter, and then this fun watermelon seed paper. For my card bases, I decided to go with a bright color to kind of go with that watermelon. So I got out three pieces of the pink cardstock to use. And for my mat for the small cut pieces, I got out a couple pieces of black cardstock. Now, in addition, I would also need that one piece of white cardstock, but like I mentioned before, I will be using some scraps, so I didn't get anything out for that. For my focal points and sentiments, I will be using the Thanks a Melon set, and this is one of those from that new box of a month. They just have cute watermelon images. I did end up choosing the little popsicle down here for mine. To color the images up, I used some Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens for more of a watercolor feel. Are you ready to see that first set of cards? I hope you enjoyed seeing those cards for the first time. As you could maybe see through the little video, I did add some twine to the front of the cards. I did a mixture between kind of a lime and a darker green. And I also added some gems to the front. And on the inside, I have that stamped off watermelon popsicle repeated. Now let me tell you how you can download this month's printable. If you would like to download this month's PDF, as always, I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel. I don't make you email me proof or sign up for anything. We just go on the honor system here. This month's link is in the description box below, right below where I have listed my Instagram team members. Below that, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is the password.
I can't wait to see what you create. Don't forget to use those two hashtags. And tomorrow I'll be back to show you how I made my first set and my team of collaborators will be joining me. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.